What's up guys? Shout out to my man Will Crunkleton. He's been watching my videos and he's a fellow Georgian as well. Check out my man Zane. I believe that's how you would say this. That, and that's his YouTube name. He got that material and is showing the brackets of how he made the striping kit. He has a John Deere walk behind too. Just like the WH-40A like mine. But he lives, you know, uh, I think he might live somewhere with cool season grass. Which I always envy all's tall grass where you can stripe. What's up guys hope you're doing great we're moving along in our uh, route here but I wanted to talk to you guys I talked to the guy at Milwaukee in uh, technical service and Milwaukee tool is awesome like that you call them um, follow the steps like they are great every time I've had to reach out to them they've been awesome for me and um, they was no different so if y'all watched the last video well two videos ago I said it had problems with new equipment. I have a brand new hedge trimmer attached and it has problems. So I talked to them and he's like, yeah, you know, send it in. You go through the, the e-service thing. 
they pay the shipping both ways and everything um, so you know send it in and get it taken care of um, in Milwaukee you know they don't know who I am they don't pay I me mean, they have no idea that I even exist probably but um, I think their product is fantastic uh, everything they make I think is fantastic but so I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do because the y'all know that other one wore out and that was my backup one and um, you know I've had gas ones in years past but I sold all those um, cuz gas hedge trimmers man are really not not really totally necessary but now I gotta do something because yeah I can send it in and we cover under warranty um, that attachment but then what do I do you know let's say it takes them a week or two to like ship it there fix it come back you know ship it back and that stuff um, which they have a pretty good turnaround they did one other time I had a problem with a battery and it was no problem um, but you know if I send that in what do I do for those two weeks because y'all know man, I'm trimming bushes every single day every single day um, so I don't know I, I'm thinking about just order another Milwaukee hedge trimmer attachment so I have two of them again and then just take the box from the one I have right now send that one in and then you know and I'll have two of them again but then it's kind of like I don't know because I didn't know if I wanted to try some other electric brands you know what I'm saying uh, so like I don't know next year if I'm gonna like try you know like I said a different brand or something to where you know, maybe I would want to try their head trimmer. Ah, a lot to think about, a lot to figure out because you know I'm still gonna have to trim bushes. Um, possibly it could make it, you know, another month or two to to when the shrubs kind of slow down a little bit, and then I could ship it in. Um, you know, of course we have all those winter prunings, grass prunings, and stuff, but I don't know. A lot to think about because I don't have a backup for it right now, and that's dangerous. Which I had a back. You know, I had two of these, but like y'all seen, the other one broke. I probably could have took it apart and fixed the gear, bought gears for it and stuff. But by the time you do all that, that's the other great thing about Milwaukee. Their articulating hedge trimmer, not the straight one, but the articulating one, which is the one I used. You can get them, they used to be 150, but they're, now they're only 170, they're still 179 at Home Depot. Whereas, let's say, because y'all know I have that PAS 225 Echo or the steel ones or whatever, the articulating attachment for the for the echo and for the steel is like 300 bucks um and uh they're very very similar you know i've owned like three of the different steel ones uh steel brand ones and um like this milwaukee one's very similar i could buy a attachment to go on that pas 225 gas echo one and have that as another backup but it's like why would i why would i spend 300 bucks for that one I don't know because you know that PAS 225 was a gift from a customer so I don't really plan on selling that thing that unit or anything like that if y'all go back a few videos you'll see that too um so yeah I gotta gotta figure it out because it's definitely gonna need to get fixed um you know it's under warranty for another couple years uh but gotta get it fixed um so yeah and actually that one that went bad it has a three-year warranty on the thing so technically I still had a little bit of warranty even on that one that went bad but I just sheerly worn that other Milwaukee quick lock head turner attached I sheerly worn it out it wasn't like a defect with it or anything so you know integrity wise character wise could you know I guess technically hey they offer it for this time frame it's no problem to send it in but I just threw it away because I'm like you know uh eh. You know I'm not uh, it's done it, it did what it was supposed to do um, now I kind of wish I had the old one because I could have took the case the metal case was fine on my other one and take the parts out and put it in the old one and uh, you know it would probably be fine could take it apart and build one good one but it's still under warranty so I might as well send it in so they can fix it with brand new parts so actually it still worked out that I threw it away anyway because like I said, it's probably the right thing to do. Let them fix it with brand new parts. Um, it's under warranty. So keep your receipts and put them in your uh, receipts folder in your email because it's very helpful if you ever, you know, come up on something like this. So then I have that receipt. Boom, I can just attach it with the, with the, you know, the claim process. Like attach a screenshot of it. 
boom, send it over. They got proof, you know, I bought it, here's how much, yada yada. And they send it back. So, I appreciate y'all watching my videos. We gotta keep moving, gotta keep working.